Yes, welcome to Livecast, ladies and gentlemen. It's Monday night and I'm already in trouble. I'm already in the weeds here. So I'm starting off with something tonight that needs to go into the oven. This is perhaps the most important thing you could make for your mom on Mother's Day. If you only make one thing, please listen to me now. Huge brownie points. Make it this. In fact, you make this this Mother's Day, you'll probably get a pass for the next two or three Mother's Days. Ridiculous brownie, brownie points. You won't have to, you won't have to. And I'm Same. so excited that Lynn has never had this. I don't know how he hasn't it's, had it. I know. Max says it's a staple. It is a staple. Absolutely. So this is not, you know, I'm not the first guy to do anything with this. This has been uh, something that, you know, church recipe cookbooks have and, and whatever. And it's called a, uh, I call it a cinnamon pecan pull apart. I think you call it a cinnamon pecan pull apart thingy. Thingy, maybe. Yeah, it's thingy. Correct. I was going to say pull apart yeah. thingy. Pull, okay, whatever. All right, all right, all right. So thingy. the basis of it are these biscuits. These simple little refrigerator biscuits that I could do a cookbook on just this because it's really kind of amazing how much of this stuff that you can find things to do with. We use those for donuts. We use them for donuts. Man, that was a good show, right? Oh, that yeah, was a good was. show. Same that was really good. All right, so check out archived episodes. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. That's okay. Um, sugar and cinnamon, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's my bunt pan. Mm -hmm. You silly bunt. <laughs> Anybody know that reference? No. no. You're a BU next Tuesday. No, 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 no. It's not. Is it's, that not the reference? It's um, Monty Python. Oh, okay. You silly. It's a whole long, th whatever, it doesn't matter. But that's the, that was the punchline right there, you silly bunch. Anyway, so you mix this up. You're going to take these biscuits, and now you're going to quarter them. Mm -hmm. And you know, look at. I like to do this stuff live, and it takes a little bit longer, but the reality is you will now watch me do things. And you can go, wow, if I just sat and watched him do this. Yeah. Can you move the cinnamon bowl? Yeah, that right. Yeah, there you go. How's that? We good? Oh, yeah. I'm okay for you, Lynn? Yeah. We don't have Steve today. We're trying to figure out camera without an extra person here. And I think we've, I think it works, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We can do it. We're a, we're a host of talented individuals. I mean, I probably put, what, a tablespoon of sugar in here, and I might have had... Uh, what would that be? Two thirds of a cup of sugar or something? Mm -hmm. Maybe two tablespoons of sugar of cinnamon. I don't think so though. Maybe we. Did we ever do the cinnamon challenge? No, oh, we, we need haven't to do yet. that one night. But wait, let's not do that yet because I've got an idea for um, for who eats this shit that I was just working on today, and I, I'm, I'm not able to perfect it uh, until maybe next time. But this is something that you're doing yourself too, right? You'll see. You'll see what it is. Don't All worry right. about it. So if you haven't watched. The show and seeing a Who Eats This Shit segment, it's when we have something that somebody decides is kind of icky to eat, mm -hmm. and we find uh, it, and then it's been Lynn and I that have, that have eaten it most of the time, right? Wait, we had another one, Steve. Um, what it, was it? We've had a lot. We've had many. Wait, are you talking about one specifically? I or? feel like Steve got involved and he ate something once. Um, no, oh, it was the baby the, food thing that those guys and did. we did the saltine cracker challenge. Right. Where if you're supposed to try and eat six of them in one minute without any water in. <laughs> People, everybody thinks it's super easy, but it's not it's, at trust all. Me, it is not super easy in the least. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so now we're at the halfway point. Uh, I got about one and a half of these tubes... One and a half tubes left. So here's what you do. Mm. Then you take this. Cinnamon on your hands. Okay, it's 6.06. I've been doing this for six minutes, Wait, right? You just said you take this. What are you taking? Uh, you're going to take this that oh, I have okay. right here, okay. which is melted cinnamon, sorry, mm -hmm. melted sugar and butter. Oh, how good and now you're just going to drizzle this, watch, over the top. Wow. Like this. That's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the recipes on the website, cookingguy.com forward slash recipes, I think. I don't really even know, actually. That's it. Is that what it is? Yep. Forward slash recipes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll have some beautiful pictures up on the samlivecast.com later. And honestly, you know what? The, the, the search function is good on the website because if you just know one ingredient, yeah. all you do is type in brisket and anything with brisket will come up. Or anything with cinnamon in this case will come up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cover that. 
put it back on a little bit of heat, not a lot. And then we're going to do another little handful of raisins in the middle. Layers. And then more of the pecan halves. You could use the um, uh, chopped pecans. I just like the way whole pecans look in this thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's much more, um, I just think it's much more interesting. And then you get a big bite of a pecan in there and everybody's happy. And All right, so just let me know if I just finish these guys. I'm almost there and I can get this thing, this big dumb thing in the oven. How okay. long does it take? It takes about uh, 40 minutes. So the timing should be perfect. Yeah. Look at and after. We try and go about an hour on the show. Like, you don't have to cut them in quarters. I just like the way that the bites, you'll see how the whole thing happens. It really is just this pull apart thing, and you just take little chunks of it out and you eat it, and uh, it's dreamy. So, the idea is, is that you get up before your mom and you make this thing. And then you go marching into her room, or when she comes down for coffee, or whatever. And you're the king of the universe, you're pretty king much. Of the, you're king of the world, you man. imagine waking up to this smell? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. When the kids were little, and they would oh be God. playing out in the cul-de-sac <laughs> with their friends, and Sam would make this, there would be like a parade of kids come running through here. Okay, so do you want to know what you call it on your website, the recipe? Yeah. Pull. You call it the cinnamon pecan caramely pull-apart thing. <laughs> I'm so That's stupid. That's word man. for word. It is? Yep. I'm so stupid. You know, it's funny. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll see recipes that I wrote ages ago. Mm -hmm. And not only are they written out of order, <laughs> like the first ingredient, you're supposed to list ingredients in the order that they're used. Yeah. <laughs> like in a play, they list the people in order of their appearance on the screen or the stage. But my measurements are off and. I have extra steps. The funny thing is I've streamlined um, my recipes. The longer I go, the more shortcuts I find. Yeah. And um, I now find myself not doing many of the steps that I used to. So when I come across an old recipe, I try and go in and fix it and go, oh, no, 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 no. This is just really I was going to say that word I can't say anymore. I'm, I can't even imagine what some of your first recipes are going to look like on that website. Yeah, they're not, they're not. I mean, We've showed the Livecast Nation um, your first demo, have we not? Yes, yes. we have. And, and I'm that's horrible pretty in interesting. It. Boring. Hi, my name is Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> no, I'm Sam the Boring I Guy. I am a person. I was barely a person then. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I couldn't do anything. I am a person who's going to be on TV for the next 10 years. Wow, that's so funny, Max. Brenda just writes, I will make this for myself even if my family doesn't. Oh, no. <laughs> Aww, you know what? Here's an interesting thing. So check this out. We'll make it for you, Brenda. So, you know, I know a lot of people download this off of iTunes, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But you can, if you go, maybe Max, walk through this as, yep. I'm, as I'm talking it. Uh -huh. If you go to the episodes page, on the samlivecast.com mm -hmm. and you find an episode that you want to watch. You click on the big picture of the episode. Yep. Down in the bottom right hand corner is the YouTube uh, link. If you click on that, it will take you where you can watch it on YouTube. Yep, right there. Right? Show, <laughs> the, show the bottom butt. corner. Look at Lucky's butt. Yeah, it says just says YouTube right there at the bottom right. corner. Right, so you click on that and it will open it up in YouTube. But what's interesting is that you can Hey, Lynn, you back there? Yeah. yeah. You guys talk people through starting the YouTube from a particular point. Wait, just come back to what me you, for one second. You, um, yeah, I'm on you. Come back to me for one second. Okay. okay, so now I just have the rest of this sugar butter stuff. Yeah. I'm going to oh. lace over the top of this thing. The sugar butter heavenly goodness. Yeah. And the smell in here is really good. Oh, stop it. And it's really more about the butter than it is about the sugar. I'm so unlucky just being banished in this back room. Just this trust stupid me. wall. Now we need to just bash it down. <laughs> Sorry, parents. I'm going to bash down walls in your house. Oh, and I for any newcomers have. out there, we're in my parents' house. My parents live here. Their room is right up there. And the you've already you've around. already knocked your fist through a few walls over the years, son. <laughs> Or one of your brothers. I grew up in this house. Okay, so this is it, right? Yep. Here's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little lower. A little lower. Mm. 
It's on the screen. You can see. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> That's what oh, it looks like, man. right? So there's the there's the pecans and the raisins in the bottom, mm -hmm. then the biscuits with the cinnamon and the sugar, yep. then another layer of the raisins and the pecans, and then the rest of the biscuits on top. And then the whole thing is doused with more of that butter, uh, cinnamon, sugar stuff. And now this just goes into this oven. Wow. Upside down, too. Yeah. Wait till you see the way this thing comes out. And let's, let me get rid of this, because when it comes out, I, I you know me. You know, we could just send mom in there to do I got to clean. I got to. Hey. It'll just really just hey. take me like two seconds. Hold on. Dad likes to. So what I wanted yeah. to say was on, on YouTube, when you're watching a video, there's a button that says share. Mm -hmm. And if you hit that button, it brings up a thing that says options. And it will allow you to send a link to that video, but from whatever point in the video you want. Yep, so you can pick a special time, like look at right now on the screen. Right. If you think that the funniest part of that episode happened at, you know, 35, 7, 35, 16, boom, right there, send oh, it I to your friends. That. That's that, right. really or, cool. Or if, if um, whoever said she will make the pull apart thing for herself, even if her family won't. Yeah. You can oh. send them the link just to where, That's I mean, genius. today we started with the pull apart, but other times, we uh, we start with talking. I'll go sit down. We start with talking. Uh huh. That's not a very subtle hint, but <laughs> like you can just pull Thank where Sam the much. cooking guy was talking about how you have to do this for us <laughs> and show it to your just people. Just freaking <laughs> make me this. Oh. Just make me this. Oh, I just got an email for something that we're going to show Thursday night. I think it makes me very happy. What is it? I, I won't even want to talk about it yet. All right. I got so much to talk about. Let's, let's, to let's dive down. right in. All right, so let me start just with this. Because I was asked about this twice today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, these are new glasses. <laughs> yeah, they are. These are my Spy. So you know Spy because Spy makes sunglasses. Amazing sunglasses. And they got into the RX business, and I don't know how far back. Mm -hmm. And you remember my last ones had the wood frames and stuff like that. and. These, these remind me of, oh wait, what's his name? Why do I forget his name every time? Marty. Yeah, Marty uh, Martin Scorsese. Scorsese. <laughs> yeah, I put that on my thing today. <laughs> Only 172 people liked it. Liked it. <laughs> you know what that tells me? It was time to change those wooden bamboo frame things. I actually, you know what? I was going through it, looking at what people were saying. I wanted to see if people liked it. And there were a couple people in there that said, should have stuck with the bamboos. Mm -hmm. You so know what? The bamboo ones rough, were novelty. Like, these mm -hmm. are not. And what you can't, I don't know, you can't like see this. Novelty, really? They, I mean, they felt novelty I guess to me in the end. in between. No, in the, in, the end, in the beginning they were fine. But near the end they, they started to feel like so novelty I saw, glasses. This, another thing I saw in there was a lot of people writing things about you being a hipster. And I oh, swear to, listen, oh I know shit. a hipster God. when I see God, one. I'm not a and hipster. I can tell you, my dad initiated that hipster sunglass trend. He had it way before everybody. He was wearing chucks way before <laughs> everybody. He was wearing tight jeans before so everybody. Oh, he's so up. happy when no, he hears that. Yes, it's so not. true. Dad, you're a trendsetter. Okay, when serious. Kelly and I, wait, can I, just, can I just finish this? Yes. Here's what are cool about these spies. Mm -hmm. And you can't see it. We don't have the close up. The frames, it's a matte frame. Explain. It means it's not super shiny. Mm -hmm. Oh. It means it's matte. It's it's that subdued. I like it. Look, a guy was looking at me today and he was like, I "Is that? Did you do something to those guys?" I go, "No, this is how they, they're spies. Are they cool?" Wait. He goes, "Yeah, they are cool." Are you sure he wasn't hitting on you? <laughs> I don't know actually. <laughs> he might have. Been. <laughs> this guy was complimenting my sunglasses. I don't know actually. Now that I, now that you say that, uh -huh. I don't think he. Oh. <laughs> No, that's so stupid. It's not true. You're well, wait, now you're talking, okay, why don't you talk about how you have two new glasses and how exciting, because that's just tripled your wardrobe. Whoa, wait. I never, really? I never knew. My Masunagas. I, I, we talked about these a few weeks ago. The Masunagas? I my, don't remember talking about that. My Masunagas with the fade. Okay, uh, Wednesday night. I don't know. Wednesday night, we'll make Masunaga night. Okay. Tonight, it's spy night. <laughs> Does Lynn have ants in his pants? 
<laughs> Do I have? Because I feel like in the last 15 minutes, <laughs> he's, he's been wandering going. around he's all over good. the he's, house. That's what he's got to do. He's so got to yeah. do what he's got to do. When we're down, so yeah. for some reason, right when you started talking about homophobia, the live cast gave a little like hiccup. Mm. But that's why I'm like wondering because like I see. checking. Yeah. Look, like I have like a computer on my lap, a computer in front of me, <laughs> and I'm looking at. I Max's got you. I got you. I got pretty you. badass. Yeah. Hey. Um, June 4th, Monday, June 4th, mm-hmm. I won't be here. Where are you going to be? I'm going to be on the Today Show, bitches. Oh, yeah, New York. Yep. I want to come. Yep, sorry, not this time. I love New York. I-L-I heart N-Y. It's and so we're, here's what we're thinking of doing. So I'm on the Today Show Monday, Monday, June 4th. Yep. And we're going to be there from like the 2nd to the 5th or 6th or something. I just had a funny idea. Wait. What? I don't want to lose it. Go ahead. <laughs> what if we did a full live cast in, in your chair? We just stuck a screen and you a Skyped in. <laughs> no, you Skyped in. We just stuck a monitor in that. your Wait chair. Six o'clock, nine in o'clock your, there, we, Monday night. I could oh, totally do that. It'd be so funny if we did that. <laughs> I could totally do that. But here's what we're thinking of doing. So we're, we're going we're gonna to shoot a show about New York food. Mm-hmm. But today I said, we're doing just one show, like 23 minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, there's 20,000 restaurants in that city. You can't cover them all. Not even close. You, can't, you could just do a half hour about, you know, Chinese or Indian or Puerto Rican or, or Mex- whatever, right? Sushi. And I would never do Mexican there because we live in Southern California. You could do a full 23 minute show on hot dog stands. On but street. You know, you're close. I said to Michelle today, what if we just did street food? Mm. Only shit outside. Uh, it would kill. And I, I and I don't even really mean food trucks. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. I want like the true like carts. Mm-hmm. Roasted. And I know what I'm going to start with: the dirty water hot dog. Oh, yes. The Papaya. staple of New- Papaya King. No, that's that's, not that's an inside restaurant. Um, I can't do that. But they have stands also. They do. Yeah. Ooh, Papaya wait. King has stands. Yeah. You Papaya know that King. for a fact. Yeah. Hey. Would you bet What's that it? dog there's that's sound asleep King. beside you right so now? Many papaya Wait, things. there's Papaya right. King and then there's King Papaya? No, no, no. Grace Papaya. Grace Papaya. Grace yeah, Papaya. Those two, those Wait are a sec. Super famous Wait, ones. Kelly's very sure of this. Would you bet the dog that's sleeping beside you right now <laughs> on the fact that Papaya King has outdoor stands? You are the most immature man I've ever met. Well, thank you very much. I just made my point. I guess you're right, Dad. So. No, I'm looking at it right now. It was the bet. That they so don't I get this. The Pie King doesn't have stands. Does. I bet they don't. Lynn, I are you chiming in on that? I don't He's, actually. I didn't look. I only went to the restaurant. I feel like you we, just said you had an opinion. He, does I Papaya he, King he have he stands? No. Did I have what? What? I thought I heard you say you didn't think Papaya King had stands. No. I, I think I heard you say Kelly's full of shit. <laughs> They don't have stands. Wow. Wait, what, way to put words in my mouth, man. Okay. <laughs> Anybody get this magazine? Savour, I know you're... I have that one. Buddy right here, does. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Savour. Mm-hmm. Right? You get this, Lynn? I got that one. I already read... Yeah, read through them. So I get emails from them. <laughs> already read it. Hang on, I get emails from them. Let me see if I can Way find Way to be a one-upper. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have this? That. Oh, yeah, I just read it. <laughs> I get emails from them. One came today, and the the title of it. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I'm gonna just show you. Hold on. Try to get my email out of there. Uh, okay. There you go. You can take my computer. Simple weeknight meals. Mm-hmm. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Monday through Friday. It's great. I love the I love the stuff until you get down to Friday. Uh-huh. See this right here? Senegalese fish and rice. Right. Remember the title of this. Simple weeknight meals. Yeah. All right. Give me one second. Go off. Mm-hmm. Now you can wait. You can come back on. Here you go. You click on that. It takes you to the Savour website. And here is the recipe for the Senegal. I can't even say it. Senegalese fish and rice. Take my computer. There you go. Forget how complicated the name is. <laughs> Thiboudien. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Thiboudouan. I don't know. But yeah. now you scroll down, right? So look, here you go, look. There you go, the ingredients for the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's no big deal. My recipes are seven. I like to be five, six, seven ingredients. So that's right in there, no mm-hmm. problem. That's the whole recipe. Oh wait, no it's not. 
Then there's the Thibidu Rouen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we'll continue counting. Holy Seven, shit. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, including the lime wedges to serve. But wait, as if it's not complicated enough and not effing simple, now look at what you have to have. Go back. Right here? Cassava root. Oh yeah, where do you get that? Did, does that come from Safeway or Vons? No. How about the dried white hibiscus flowers? Wow. No, and the freaking tamarind paste. Where do you get that? Hmm. And the next one down, fish sauce. They say available from Amazon. That's the one thing I can get from my fucking supermarket right across the street almost. <laughs> what are they doing to us? Crazy. And don't even get me started about the time. Hold on. If I start adding this up, 10, 10, that's 20, 40, that's 80, another 45, that's 165 minutes. Just in, in the numbers that they added there, not counting you, looking at the recipe, figuring out what it, how long is 165 minutes? Six, 12, Two that's hours. three hours of cooking. Yeah, close. Close to three hours of cooking when you factor in your what the hell am I doing and this and that. The, I think that's why oh, we just scared Haley. That's insane. Oh, Haley, it's. Uh, I think we've definitely carved ourselves out a little um, piece of the cooking entertainment world that doesn't center around very difficult cooking. You know what I mean? Look at the pretzels. The pretzels were what? Three ingredients? Yeah. We nobody does the things bread like that. dough, the beaten egg white, and the. S I think this is a good test. Of salt. It. Could you cook it on the live cast? And yeah. if it's not, then it's almost too, I mean, it's too complicated for us. Yeah. No, you're actually absolutely right. We couldn't, you could not cook that on the live cast. In a Wait, we cook years. on a live cast and we provide entertainment. So mm -hmm. maybe we should cook something really complicated one time that takes the whole time. <laughs> what would that be? I we should, we should just get a Savor. You should just try one. We can make a Savor recipe. Try well, but you one. know, in all fairness, now that try I've dogged them one? so badly, uh -huh. there were some four or five ingredient ones in the other days of the week. Oh. But I just thought, who edits that thing? Yeah. There's nothing simple. Foodies, for foodies, by foodies. I'm not a foodie. The fact that I like to eat You're food and I cook food, <laughs> I do not consider myself a foodie. I consider the guy sitting to your right, Max, yeah. more of a foodie than me. I, I, I think so, yeah. Lynn? But that doesn't mean that you're not a foodie, Dad. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a foodie? I do. Just because, okay, but just because the degree to which you're a foodie might not be as intense <laughs> as this guy. No, no, no. But I think that, that no, 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 no. But that's just it. You I think see. it is, I think it is about degrees. Okay, but you, listen, when you sit down next to a chef and you're talking stuff, or you, when you're even talking with Lynn, yeah. people who don't have that experience from, other parts of the country would think that you were a foodie? like the ultimate, you know, like that. Yeah, food snob foodie. I just looked up on Wikipedia. It says foodie <laughs> is an informal term for a particular class of aficionado of food and drink. The word was coined in 1981 by Paul Levy, don't know who that is, and Ann Barr, who used it in the title of their 1984 book, The Official Foodie Handbook. <laughs> wow, that actually got coined? Wow, who the hell? Is, let's look who Paul Everything Levy is. Everything is coined these days, I mean, though. but like... He was Someone born in 1941 that. in Lexington, Kentucky. He's a U.S. British author and journalist. Lives with his wife Penelope in Oxfordshire. I would like to live in Oxfordshire, London. Oh, I'm so glad we're on Wikipedia right now. Lynn, can you go to my dad's Wikipedia? Because I know we have to have, I want to see your page. I want to mm. see if the live cast nation can so get in there and put some stuff so on. So do I look up Sam Zion or Sam yeah. under Sam Zion. Just, It's under yeah. Sam Zion, yes. And there it is. You're a Canadian-born television cook. Hey, look, they've even got a thing of a live cast on there. I, we got to have some live casters get in there and just add oh, that page, yeah, look at get that. it going. Oh, my God, May 23rd. I was wondering what that date was. I couldn't remember. What day of the Whoa. week is that right now? Whoa. Look at that. May 23rd Where the hell Monday. did that come from? Someone at Broke new so ground by creating this? the internet's first live high-definition cooking show. You can actually see, usually. You we see who like edited it last. That's so cool. Now, May 23rd is what day of the week, you guys? Um, May 23rd was a Monday. No, no, no. I'm talking Monday. about this year. We're coming up to a year. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're right. We got to have our one year anniversary. Oh, my God. It's absolutely. in like two weeks. Right. 
What's the What's the date today? I think there's going to be some drinking 14, involved. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> May twenty third is a Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. That's baby. awesome. It's our right, one year right, anniversary. All right, all right, all right. We got to find out what episode that's going to be. Probably close to Lynn. What are we on? One hundred. We're on one hundred thirty eight right now. One hundred and thirty eight episodes. I mean. We could stop after this episode, and I'd be happy with and call it a day. How much we've done and how much content we put out there, <laughs> and the Roku <laughs> channel is going to be there. It's Where what the, the live cast wait, will by the way, can I just say what the hell happened to the Roku guys? But there's d- there's development that has to go but on. But I thought there's it was I thought we were done with that. I mean, I kept thought I was hearing like a month, a month, a month, or weeks. Uh, or, I mean, I think and we're, now it's we're, done. I think we're qu- no, no, no. We're we're I think we're quickly approaching the date when it's going to be completed. Yeah, you know what? I feel like we got jacked on that. <laughs> I don't think Where so. The hell are- By the jacked, way... We haven't um, done anything. We haven't I, done anything. I said last uh, week that Greg Rempe from the Barbecue Central show would be yeah. here Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. He won't be. He'll be here Thursday night. Sweet. Whoa. Just let Thursday. me check the... Uh, hey, just let me so check this. Hold on. Should we grill on a Thursday? On that Thursday that he's here? Oh, the smell of that thing is freaking great. Oh, um, hey... We'll see. We'll talk about it. Um, we'll make- I don't know if uh, can we can I lead us into something right now? Of course, Lynn. If you can be so kind to go to my dad's Facebook page and pull up the uh, smoked pork that he was doing for the last. Oh wait, I have wait, yesterday. I have pictures. I have this. Okay, Hold on. awesome. Look what I've done. I I've haven't done had a chance to talk all night, and I've got some things to say. Oh, yeah. mom, what's up, Max? You've got diarrhea of the mouth. Do I? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oops. That is Everybody such a wants to know what's going on in the pantry. What do you mean? Just oh, the, what you you're promised writing the other day. your comments. You promised the other day that we would address the pantry. Oh, the uh, the uh, that M thing. Yeah. I'm trying to I remember it what off. it is. Wait, I have a picture Uh-oh. of it. No, no, no. <laughs> I have it someplace. Where's my phone? Does anybody know? My, oh shit. I don't know where my phone is. No, no. Really quickly, I'm going to oh, cut to Facebook though and show everybody the pork. No, no, no. You don't have to, Max. Do you want to give everybody a little background on it, maybe? Yeah. So, um, you remember we did that? We showed that pork puller thing. Yeah. Um, Thursday night? Mm-hmm. No, go off that, Max. <laughs> we showed the pork puller thing. It was that thing that shredded up a pork butt that a guy had cooked, right? Yes. We're that talking attaches about, to a drill. We were talking about Greg Rempe coming on the live cast. And while I was buttoning around on his page, I found this guy that made a thing called the Roman pork puller. And it busts up a seven, eight pound pork butt in after it's been smoked in no time. And it just got the juices going in my mouth and I thought, wow, I just really, I really want to make one of these things and I never have. So I went to Restaurant Depot. Uh, actually, I didn't. My friend Matt went to Restaurant Depot and he called me from there and he goes, do you want anything? And I go, will you take a look at the pork butts and tell me how much they are? They were $1.43 a pound, but they come in a 14... 15 pound bag and there's two of them. Wow. So I can buy it. That's such a good deal, is it not? Seems like a crazy. What meat can you buy for $1.43 a pound? Uh, dog meat, that's it. Ugh. This is amazing and it's not dog meat, right? Not even ground beef. No, not even close. So I said buy me two and I decided buy me a pack and I was gonna smoke it. So if you take my computer, mm-hmm. there they are at 6.45 Saturday morning how come it doesn't show yeah, the whole sorry, thing? Yeah, sorry, I'm adjusting it. Thank you. Can you adjust it once more? Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I see your things there now. Thank you. <laughs> you can keep talking. 6.45 okay. Saturday morning. I put these two. I take these two out of the package. Mm-hmm. I wash them off. I dry them. And I put this, this rub on them. No. I put the rub on them Friday night. Sorry. I wrap them in saran and I put them in the fridge in the garage. That's what she said. <laughs> well, I, I, what? She I don't know, she put the rub on them, something in there. So I get up Saturday morning early, six o'clock, come downstairs, feed the dogs, take them outside, come back, take the pork butts out of the fridge, start the smoker going outside. And I put them on, that's them. And the color is only from the rub. 6.45 a.m. And I put this on Facebook, and now I start documenting. And here they are at 8 a.m. Wow. You can see the smoke. But, but you take a look. The color has not changed a whole lot, right? Uh, yeah. That, I mean, it's... Oh, 
But there they are at 9.13, and now they're starting to look like a little piece of heaven. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? 9.13 a.m. 11.35, I flipped them. Now, I will admit, I got them a little too hot for a bit. <laughs> you try and cook them somewhere around 225 to 250. Just a little there. Huh? And I cranked it, and it got too hot. And those stripes that you see that are on the top of those... That's when the, the pork butts were f turned around the other way. Mm -hmm. And those stripes shouldn't have happened because I cooked them too hot. But then I figured it out. I turned them down and I flipped them over. And they still look pretty damn good. Mm. It looks like you meant to do that. There they are at 4 o'clock. Wow. So right there, they're about two hours away from being done. You want to pull them off when they're about 195 degrees inside. You can stop that, and I've got just a quick video of what they look like when they came off. Let me just find this. Hold on. So they, and they taste unreal. They taste unreal. I mean, apart from the rub, I smoke them with... I have a thing called a Traeger. <laughs> and a Tra oh. <laughs> Freaks, you're all just a bunch of dirty... You look at her. Dirty, look at you. It's just so obscene. <laughs> you know, you would never make it in the deep south, man. I'm just telling you now. I am just telling you. I'm just waiting for this thing to show up here. Hold on. It's five megabytes. What is it? Is it a video megabyte. of you pulling it off? <laughs> it's a video of me rubbing one out. It's a video of me pulling the pork apart. Sorry, Lynn. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can't say anything after this. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Oh, man. Oh, There's nothing to say. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's the, you know what, I'm, I don't know where this stupid What's with your video, is. man? I'm trying well, to Can I still this. ask a question? Like, when you want to yeah. do something like this, when you're like, I have an idea to do a pork butt. Yeah. Um, like, what, do, how's your process? What do you do to walk? Do you just Google it and just look up the first yeah five hits. you know that's just it you know what I, I i didn't come from a country that did that i don't live <laughs> in an area that does a lot of that so i have to go to the experts so i go i mean i had a general sense of what to do and how to do it what i didn't know was sort of how long and i didn't really know and the crazy thing is you read shit that says it could take eight hours mm -hmm. it could take 18 hours mm -hmm. i don't know how this could take 18 hours I started really at seven and pulled it off about seven, so mm -hmm. twelve hours, right? You're a definite sm uh, exper experimenter with the smoking. Experiment. Yeah, and I'm only learning with too. The really, uh, honestly, I'm just I'm just learning now by by how to like sort of pull all this stuff off. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's not working. What the frick is? Would you like some assistance? <laughs> You know what? It would be cool now that we're getting into the, into smoking things on the smoker. We should um, no take my computer, Lynn. Here's what here's what I just got when I just tried to open that. Mm. <laughs> can you help? Can you help with that? Uh, you know, I'm only an IT guy until I come here, and then I should. And then not you're not no longer right. That's just. Well, whatever. Oh, anyway. God. Just make the Asian guy do it. It was good. We'll leave it at that. Okay. It was really good. I'm starting to get the <laughs> smell from the cinnamon pull apart pecan caramely thingy back here. Oh. It's it's called pork. Hold on. Hold on. Just let me show Lynn it's where it is. It's called pork. Go to my email. <laughs> How to fix computer? Look at that Hold sweetheart, on. Haley. Oh, that was not nice. So I don't know where it is. Do you want it? It's right here too. I could just show it on my phone, but that's just not cool. That's not the way to do it. Why don't you that's email it to Lynn? Okay, I gotta forward this to Lynn. Hold on. Just Email. one more job for Lynn tonight. Email video. <laughs> Here, show me the phone. Show me the phone. Oh, you wanna do it this way? Let's do it this way. I'll play Steve. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Uh, now it's preparing the video. It's thinking it's being sent to you. <laughs> oh, man. God. You are just the this worst. Is this today. shit is so fucking low tech, I can't believe it. We're better than this. It's just an iPhone 4S. Okay, there you go. Check this out. Oh. So look at that. Oh. So look, you got to get the bone. See that? Whoa. That's a piece of bone. It's falling off. It's this crazy ass bone of the pork, of the pig. See that? The red ring around that? That's what you oh. want. Wait, who filmed this? Uh, my nephew, Mark. Oh. 
And now you just start to shred. Jeez. Which if I had that pork, the Roman pork puller. Oh, it would have been done so fast. I would have been a genius, but I didn't have it. Father's Day. I don't, I'm not making enough of these things. But literally, I started with 15 pounds of pork, ended up with probably 10 pounds of pork for like 22 bucks. Wow. I mean, come on. You, tell me, that, you tell me that's not worth it? Oh. Totally worth it. And the smoking, I used um, pecan chips. The thing I have is called a Traeger, and it, 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 it's an automatic pellet feeder smoker. Smokers, you have to go, you, you soak the chips, you take them out, you put them in. A couple hours later, you go back, you put more chips. This thing, you fill the hopper with chips like this. Diane says there's nothing better than a smoked meatloaf. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Holy no, we're shit, so Diane. Good you just blew my mind. I've never had that. And so I look love at this. meatloaf. She says make three or four at a time and freeze them. So do you see these things? Oh, my God. I love you, Diane. Lynn's right here on this. Check this out. So you see these? Yeah. These are pellets. This is what you feed the Traeger. You fill the Traeger up with these things, mm -hmm. and then it automatically pulls them through this electric auger. So you don't have to do anything. I said, I put these things on at seven. I didn't have to add wood, nothing, water, nothing. Until wow. I pulled them off. Um, am I right that the brisket required a little bit more maintenance? No. Same. <laughs> I, for some reason, I, I remember you like putting them in every hour or something. No, 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 no. I used no? the Traeger. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, let's cut to Facebook real quick. Addie sure. Korn yep. uh, smoked a ham recently. <laughs> and it looks pretty awesome. Wait, she's from the '60s, so. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. I she's wasn't expecting a, smoking, yeah. I was expecting a <laughs> giant rolling paper <laughs> with pork in it. Oh God! Oh, yeah, Addy. That's that story. <laughs> Lucky. Oh. Lucky that. Oh, he Lucky. barked at Haley. Yeah, he did. Maybe he doesn't like ham. Lucky okay, so check this. Ham. So check this out. Checking. <laughs> the fixtures Living that we love as a sponsor of this show. Mm -hmm. mm. We talk about, we praise over, we bow to <laughs> fixtureslivingcom <laughs> Just the most amazing kitchen, bath, outdoor place ever that has dreams of worldwide domination. They're here in San Diego, they're in Rancho Mirage, they're in Costa Mesa, California. The director of marketing from Fixtures Living, Maria will be here on that sofa no with way. mom, with Kelly, <laughs> Thursday night. And don't tell her, uh -oh. but when it comes time to do this little s spot, she's getting the fucking microphone. Oh, that's ah. cute. And I hope she's not watching. <laughs> she's probably watching she right now. Watching. I wonder, she's gonna be so nervous. Air maps. So then even, it, yeah, whatever. You know what? Maybe, maybe we can plan something special that we don't announce to the whole What world. would that be? We'll, we'll think of we'll, it. We'll think just as she Emma. starts to maybe talk about it, we'll hand her a live frog. Maybe you <laughs> and her <laughs> can. Hold it. Maybe you and her can do a Who Eats This shit together. We mm. can. Oh, oh my god! You know what? Now that I finally got my freaking iPad back from you, Max and Jordan, <laughs> I've only been asking to get the iPad back from Max. Lives with his brother Jordan no. that you've seen here. Not my fault. For I don't know a month. Not my fault. And everybody's like, I don't know. I have no idea. No. Don't know, speak no English, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't speak it. Don't know, I don't understand. Yeah, it was right there. Right there. And everybody knew about it, but they were pretending not to. I finally got it back. Now I can God. do what I want to do. Just you wait. Oh, God, what do you want to do? You're going to find out. You'll find out hopefully Wednesday. No. Hey, uh, do I need to remind you about the pull apart thing? Nope, not ready yet. I can smell it. I can I know, smell that it's it. not so where it bad, needs to I be. I know, well, you can't have it. You I know what? I shall it. serve no pull apart before it's time, dude. <laughs> but check this out. So today, I, I went to a place called Grocery Outlet to talk about maybe doing something, mm -hmm. right? Grocery Outlet. What grocery is Outlet grocery is a place. Store? There's two, Right now, there's two in San Diego. They're, they're all over the West Coast, up to... Portland, maybe Washington, all the way down. They're just starting to come into California. And it's a place that they buy, um, you know, store like the 99, what's not the 99 cent store? The, um, 
the 89 cent store. Now, what's that store that buys like <laughs> overruns? Lots. Big lots. Big lots. Okay, they're the big lots of food. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, okay. Okay. So when somebody makes too much or can't, whatever it is, they buy it up, right? Yeah. So you might go in and there'll be kettle chips there one day and there'll be some, the Maui onion chips there another. You, you might not always find the exact same chip, but you'll always find great chips. Hmm. So we're there today, we're looking around and I'm seeing what they've got. It's a really interesting model that I haven't seen before. And they're growing like absolute wildflower. Flower? Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> you said wildflower. I need another drink. <laughs> I did not. Did I say you that? You totally said did wildflower. <laughs> and you, oh, I'm not even going to say it. He's fire. delirious. Go ahead. He's wild, delirious. Wild no. fire. And you're calling me a homophobe? What? That has nothing to do with <laughs> it. <laughs> I am so confused right She's now. She's just trying to get you back. But if a if a if a if a homosexual male told me I looked good in my jeans or my shirt or whatever shoes I was made. I'd be happy. I'd be stepping high. You, you would like it. You know you would. Who cares? She's embarrassed. Nobody cares. There's Nobody no cares. All right. So anyway, I'm there. I'm walking around, and I start seeing some things. I go, wait a second. That's a good idea. I've not seen that before. So I bought three things. Let me get rid of this. Nobody move. I don't know where the hell these things are. I have no... Oh, here they are. I sure wish they were chippies. Oh, it's not good. You're a chip addict. I know. And so wait, cream and onion? I had to hide one thing because I knew if Max oh. found it, Whoa, he might take oh, it. Hurt. Easy there on your mic. Okay, here's the first thing. I've never seen this before. Who likes Jelly Bellies? Yeah, me. You guys do? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I Ready think everybody for this? Likes Jelly Bellies. We're gonna go right here, Lynn. Do you want to see this? Yeah. So what happens when they're making Jelly Bellies mm -hmm. and they don't come out perfect? Oh, I know what you mean. They're called Jelly Flops. Jelly Flops. Oh, is that ever cute? Is that amazing? And, and look in here. Bellies. Look in here. Let me find one. Okay, so who would rather have that than the real one? Look at this guy right here. Wait, I don't know if you can see this. Let me try and get this, separate this guy. That is Look so at this guy cool. right here, in between my thumbs. It's a big guy. It's huge. Look at it. <laughs> it's a wonky shape. It's like a triple. It's like a triple, right? Lynn, you've seen those? Yeah, I love those. But you've seen belly flops? Yeah, they're cheaper. Oh, they're cheaper. that is so cute. Where is he? He's right here. Look at this guy. That's a mutant. Now, do you really care if you eat regular <laughs> shaped uh, jelly bellies? No, that's like the coolest. In fact, there's more in this jelly belly than there is in the other ones. I would so much rather have that bag. Look, look at this guy. This guy looks like one of those crazy balloons. That one's just fun. These, that bag is fun. This bag is fun. You know what? I say screw regular jelly bellies. I'm <laughs> all about the belly flops. But I've never seen them anywhere before today at Grocery Outlet. Okay. And so this got me looking around. Like I'm paying attention to stuff, right? Okay. We've all bought salami at the supermarket before, right? Mm -hmm. Sliced salami. <laughs> perfect slices. Oh, I love that. Like a giant lineup of them, all perfect round circles, one sixteenth of an inch <laughs> thick, right? It's all great, right? Have you ever wondered what happens to the ends? Oh, Any idea? You're going to tell me there's a bag of ends in there? Look at this. Okay, that's bizarre. That's bizarre. Look at this. <laughs> but see what's here? Oh, Can you see just, these? Yeah, they're only ends. They're ends. Look at oh. There's the round ends. But do you know what you could do with this that would make... And it's like half the price. And that's okay because there's times when you might want some kind of salami thing. Mm -hmm. that didn't have to be perfect. I make salami and eggs, right? But there's, when I do round pieces. But there's other times when I take salami and chop it up into little pieces and saute it first in a pan and then I add the eggs and some cheese and some whatever. And it's amazing. Do I need perfectly round pieces? Absolutely not. 
Would I rather spend half as much? Yes. And that leads totally. me to our final item today that you're yeah. going home with, Max. <gasps> Ready? Drum roll. What? Bacon, but not strips of bacon, ends and pieces. Oh, he's never, ever going to do anything like that. No. Okay. You know what? The Chipotle baked beans. I didn't do those on the show yet, and I will. Because they're amazing. I don't even know. I start. Do you mind? I start with whole bacon pieces and I dice them up and then I put them in the pan. I cook them until they're almost done. I take them out and then I finish onions and peppers in there in the bacon grease. They don't have to be nice pieces. I bought, I bought, listen to me, I bought two pounds of bacon ends and pieces. Mm hmm. For less than one pound of regular bacon. That's not that exciting. <laughs> for you, because you no. hate everything. You said you bought two pounds for less than what you pay for one pound? Yes. And it's all the grizzle? And the it's not the grizzle. Fat? You look in here and you see white. Do you have any idea That's how much really white there gross. is on regular streaky bacon, she which is what the Brits Max, call it? I'm not even taking it home. I'm not even allowed to take it home? You're no. taking it home, Max. Don't <laughs> listen to mom. No. Let's cut to That's Facebook real quick. This, yes. Um, Mary Early had a hilarious comment. She said, "Seinfeld muffin tops. It's like <laughs> thank you. It's like when they took the muffin tops and then it's like what they would. Your the store that you were at is where they would have all the discarded stumps. But you know what? For well, for no, no, no. They wouldn't. No, no, no. They would have tops. <laughs> I don't think they'd have the the stump. They'd have Nobody the stump. has the stump. That bag of bacon is the equivalent Nobody of the stump. The By the stump. way, I just ate a coconut um, belly, belly flop. Bed? Uh huh. That was fucking amazing. Hey, it's been just about forty minutes. Look Maybe at this it's been thing. Exactly forty. Carrie is asking where the grocery outlet is. So there's right now there's two grocery outlets in San Diego. Mm -hmm. One's in Oceanside on College. Mm -hmm. One's in, I think Chula Vista. Maybe National City. I don't know for sure. And uh, there's a new one coming to the East Village in uh, downtown. East Village is awesome now. It's, it's awesome. Oh, that smells so good. You're I not know. getting any because you hate everything I'm doing no, here. No, I'm going to bury that bag of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I read? Haley. I'm just going to strap it to are you, my are you, Okay, I can bring I'll it home it. and Jordan will make like... Bacon quesadillas for the next three weeks. Ew. I'm telling you. That is <laughs> just oh my, disgusting. Uh, Dad sent us home with one of those massive Costco things of ready bacon. Ew. Probably had 75 <laughs> pieces of bacon in it. Jordan ate it in like two and a half days. No, see, Jordan. it's so bad. And he just yeah. puts, he takes like six bags of things of bacon, puts it on a paper towel, puts it in the microwave, and then eats it. Just no, as a snack. See. Bacon. And he wonders why he has stomach issues. <laughs> Jordan. Uh, God. I can't get my I can't get this document back. What document? I can't get what what, what is my the, the document that I keep all of <laughs> my um, my stuff on, and I'm going to Word and I'm opening it up and it just won't show up on my page. Do you want me to go out there again? What are you trying to open? <laughs> it's not here. This is Lynn, come here. Yeah, that. come here, Lynn. Let That's me show you this. Prepare things. Don't overcook that. It smells so good. Yeah, don't please over. don't overcook it. I like it soft. <laughs> oh god! Minutes, this is a freak. Right here, Lynn. Do you see this? Yep. So you Thank see this, you, right? Everybody. If I click on it, where does it go? Dad, so go down here. Notice, mom. <laughs> <laughs> see, oh, I don't god. know where it is. I'm just gonna eat some <laughs> belly flop. I want to read two emails that I can't freaking read because blue, green. Sorry. Dude, wait. Blue. If my if. My techy Asian guy can't figure this shit out. The Jewish guy from Canada is not having any fun. <laughs> any help with that? Sorry, man, it's gone. He's I can't be gone, these man. These belly flops are awesome. I have a friend who orders flavors of Jelly Bellies in bulk. Really? From where? The Jelly Belly Factory. <laughs> oh, my God. Crazy, huh? What flavors? Um, they were like specific ones. Yeah. Hmm. See, I like the coconut. I was jealous when I That did. coconut was really good. Just let me say that coconut was really but good. But see, every time that you've ever had Jelly Bellies in your life, it's been in a big assorted bag like this. Can you imagine if you had one full bag of your favorite of flavor? Of coconut? I don't think that. Who could handle that? 
I couldn't, about, I couldn't handle that. How about this? Sean says he bought Ed Hardy beer at the grocery outlet in Berkeley. Ed Hardy? Yeah. Definitely a good place to get the weirdest. I saw drink. beer. I saw beer there today Ed Hardy beer. for two ninety nine a six pack. Yeah. Max. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. That's that's, uh, that's unheard of. Um, I was at the dollar store. And who cares if it's six percent alcohol or eight or whatever you want? Do you hey, care if it's two ninety nine? For anybody on a budget, I was at the dollar store yesterday. Jilly had to get some art, some like arts and crafts for a project that she had to do. And what are you doing? There's a fly thing here right oh. by me. So anyway, we're at the dollar store. They have so so many random good little things for your apartment or for your house or for whatever, for your kitchen. It's just such a great place to save money, except don't get carried away. I was going to say, so what I did you buy that you didn't Oh, my need? God. I was just going around, like, grabbing things. Oh, I need this. I need this. Oh, I totally need a little soap dispenser in my bathroom. Yeah. Why not get a photo frame for a dollar? Can be. All right. I've got two emails I want to read. Just let me remind you, Mother's Day is coming up. Donovan's Steak and Chop House is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If you don't go do the right thing and make a reservation there, you're going to screw up and you'll be saddled with doing nothing. <laughs> okay, yes. You're going to make the thing that's in the oven that's going to come out in about two minutes. But then what? If you think that delivering this... Here's what I say you do. Let's say you have siblings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say you forget the siblings. Don't tell them. Whether If you don't live with your mother, you go over to her house early in the morning. You get this going, you make this for her. It's all you. You'll be a superstar. She will <laughs> love you more than the other kids forever. <laughs> And then you say to the other kids, wow, you guys really screwed up. You didn't do anything for mom. I know the one thing that can pull your sorry asses out of the fire and make it up to you. Take mom to Donovan's because that's what she wants. I mean, she said to me the other day, if only the kids could take me to Donovan's, <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> Lay it on the kids. Lay it on the siblings. Lay it on your dad. Whatever. Get your mother to Donovan's on Mother's Day. Let her have a big, fat, bone-in ribeye or a tenderloin or whatever, a New York, whatever she wants. Wait. Yeah. Is it on? It's on Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. Mm. My mom loves prime rib. Ooh. I'm just saying, Donovan's has good prime rib. Oh. Yeah, they do. What do they not have good? I don't know. Steve and I split a ribeye one day that we were all there. Ribeye, Steve and I split a ribeye and yep. the and the uh, you two cuties shared and the uh, the <laughs> fish prime rib. or something. Oh yeah, prime rib. It's all good. <laughs> and you're eating jelly. Look at the oh, dogs are I know, hovering the dogs around the bacon I can't bags. believe because they know what's they're in there. They're hovering around that bacon bag. You know what's so funny? I've not had uh, jelly bellies for. Look at this one. They're so good. This looks like some weird moon. Oh, it's, it's a, a crazy super shape. Moon. Do you want this? What's Please this? Pink? What's that it? pink flavor? Wait, show this, camera three. Show Lynn. Look at the shape of this thing. You gotta keep it in one place. Whoa, it's a pear. Oh, <laughs> that's a oh. that's a jelly belly, man. No, it's not. It's a belly flop. Oh yeah, it's like the outlet. By the way, the there's de look at this one. There's definitely some jelly bellies in here. This is perfect shape, right? I there's wonder no why it didn't that, make There's the, no reason that's a flaw. But why didn't it make the cut? It didn't oh, for no a reason. No idea. All right, ready? Who wants to go to this? I do. Ready? Let's go. All right, while I'm about to pull this thing out, well, I'm about to whip this out. Does anybody know what this is? I don't. I'm not talking about the peaches. I'm talking about this thing. Well, let me take a few out just to give you a look at it. Do you know what this is? It looks like a really. It looks like one of those rowboats that you used to do in high school. Lynn, Lynn was questioning that today. <laughs> is that what he thought it was? I, said, I thought it was, it was a canoe for little people. <laughs> you know what this is, Lynn? For mice. I have no idea what that is. Is that? Is it like? It's an antique baguette pan. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. And those are real peaches. I bought it in Napa. Isn't it badass? That's awesome. 
I've done all kinds of appetizers in this thing, but that's not important right now. What's important is this. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, shit. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Okay. So here's what this thing looks like when it comes out. Except that's upside down. We got to get, uh, Lynn, you can go tight with that for with your camera, yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's how we do this. Upside down. Upside down. And Don't burn you yourself. Be, that's you gotta not be super hot right now? It's on the board? Hot. Or no, just oh, no, it's fine on there. It. But for this, it's very... Ready? Yep. Oh. And now the problem is getting this off. Yeah, you, you got to be really delicate because you could ruin the whole, I mean, you could ruin the whole structure. Of and I'm not delicate. You're not. I know you're not. So be That's delicate. That's my problem. Ready? Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Check that out, Mr. Lin. Look at this beautiful thing. Please let me. I mean, really? It, it's take a picture of that one. Unbelievable. Do you want to take a picture while it's whole? Are you going to cut into Oh, you're. I'm going to bust. Get the camera quick. Jeez. Yeah, you can do it. Lynn. As if I'm right, not doing so anything watch. else right now. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to read two emails while Lynn's getting ready with his camera. Take your time. I'm good. I've got two emails here. Hold on. Just allow me to pour myself a drink. <laughs> All right. I just can't wait to eat the thing, so don't oh, take too long. Can you not long. believe the smell? I know. Don't, well, don't take too long. I mean, well, I should have told Lynn that this was going to happen like this. He didn't know. really know what to expect. In all fairness, know, he's not now had you're, this before. Now you're just making it, extending it even longer. Okay. I'm trying to eat here, old man. All right, so I got two emails here. Here's, um, what do you want first, good or bad? Good. You do? Bad. Fine, bad. Kelly, what do you want? Good or bad email first? Oh, bad. Bad, okay. Sam, big fan, big fan. You know something's coming after that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Flip flops with jeans is a really, really bad look for all men, especially for one of your age. Flip flops with, I'll read it again. Flip flops with jeans is a really, really bad look for all men, especially for one of your age. If it's hot enough that you need to cool down by wearing flip flops, then you should also be wearing shorts. The splash of color thing does not fly. Can Ouch. you believe that people take the time to send emails like that? Can I tell you something that's so funny about that? Yeah. So my girlfriend, I sent her that, or on Facebook it had that picture of you and I and Zach at Senior Night for Lacrosse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get a text from her and she writes, holy shit, most men need to cover up their feet. I haven't been up close to Sam, but he is provoking me. I thought I would text instead of Facebook my views. Ha 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 ha. He means I pissed her off too? Yeah. She so, thought, what are you walking around in flip-flops for, so let check, alone red flip-flops? So check this out. This morning, I get, a, I get a text from Andrea at KFMB who says, hey, do you see any of these shoes that you like? And it came to me and Dave at, at DSC, and maybe you guys could figure out to do something with it. And they were these European-looking, I don't know, like sneakers or something, you know, the kind of low and stripes and... And I wrote back and said, I'd get beat up before I wore those. And she writes back, you get beat up because of your glasses and your flip-flops. And then I hear Dave talking about me on the radio, saying how much he hates flip-flops. We had lunch together Thursday, and I wore jeans and flip-flops. I don't know what the problem is with people. Weird thing is that people have, you're right, people have the time to take out of their data. Mm -hmm. Send you an email letting you know that your, that your flip flops piss them off. Right. Okay. So here's the other email. The fuck is it? 
the hell? Let's wrap the show. I want to eat that thing. No, 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 hot, stop Dad. it, You're just Max. taking too long time. Stop it, Max. I, Lynn's not finished. I hate ending the show so anticlimactic. No, it's not anticlimactic. Yeah, you know, is. come on. You, you know how Lynn is. Hey, he's got to get it happening here. Yes, you're right. Lynn's pictures are much more important than ending the show on a high note. Trust me, I got it covered. It's Kelly, like, oh, we'll don't, don't even think about it until Lynn's finished. That's fine. We'll just sit in silence while you sit there and uh, look for the email. I can't see it. Shit. Okay, allow me to do this. Watch yeah, this. Then. You done, Lynn? Yeah. Okay, so watch. Come right here. We can't do this. Hold no, on. We can't. So then what you do is you pull it apart. See this? See how it just busts? And then you get like a piece like this. Look at that. And all it is is one single bite. Oh my God. Seriously, it's one of the best things I've ever made. Look how beautiful it is. Make that for your mom, won't you? Wednesday night and Thursday night of this week, two more things you can and should make for your mommy. Mm. Did I say mommy? Yeah, you did. If Wait you're looking for a little sweetness to add to a brunch menu, boom. That's like the perfect thing. Uh, just tell the siblings you'll take care of like the appetizer for brunch mm -hmm. and give them the rest of the work. Mm -hmm. Then your job is out of the way and you can chill and have champagne. All right. Thanks for being here. It's Monday night. Tomorrow's Tuesday. We're not here, but we are here Wednesday. <laughs> Tell your friends about the Sam Livecast and make this for your mom. Oh. See ya. Stop eating. It's so hot. <laughs>